when i end up went failure in my first attempt to pursue masters okay my uh, i was you know i made up my mind you know because that i am going to stay in uh, india and i am going to do the job because i wasted a quite a few money and i was very guilty that uh, i was not able to give justice i've done my uh, bachelor's from mumbai university from indira gandhi college of engineering back in 2011 so i worked for after that i worked for uh, reliance communications for two and a half to three years as a um, i mean telecommunication and networking engineer then uh, i i was helping my father in uh, in his company for four years i took a break studying simultaneously for uh, you know masters exams like gre tofit and uh, then i did my masters in computer engineering from sirikus university back in uh, may 2020 so uh, after that i worked for a year in my university's uh, department my electrical engineering and computer science department and now now i'm searching for full time job i did my masters in computer engineering so i took various subjects of software hardware and embedded system like uh, you know advanced data structure algorithms object oriented programming object oriented design embedded system design PLSI timing analysis, uh, system verification and testing. So, uh, I was, uh, you know, um, basically concentrating on one area was not my, you know, priority. I took subjects from various areas like hardware, software, and embedded systems. Even artificial intelligence, I took an intro course. So, um, so my idea basically was to, you know, um, try different, uh, you know, um, areas and get a, you know. get an idea of it and uh, then i finally decided you know i'll um, concentrate on software and embedded system so now even uh, i'll uh, i've zeroed in on the embedded system so i'm finding jobs in embedded system and i'm preparing for that so i got admitted in us cnc charlotte and uh, i started my masters over there but it didn't go as planned so i uh, i ended up going have undergone failure At that time, then again I applied for uh, next year. I applied for some universities like Syracuse University, University of Massachusetts Lowell, then University of Alabama at Huntsville. Um, so I got an admit from uh, Syracuse University and uh, Alabama Huntsville. I took admission UNC Charlotte, uh, and uh, I was not able to continue because I got failing grades in my first semester. But um, again. Um, After six months, I applied for another university called as I mean uh, the university which I told you. So it was not a transition. I just uh, applied the second time for it. When I end up went failure in my first attempt to pursue masters. Okay, my uh, I was you know I made up my mind you know because that I am going to stay in uh, India and I am going to do the job because I wasted a quite a few money and I was very guilty that uh, I was not able to give justice. but uh, the thing is like uh, the reason for pursuing my masters i mean uh, taking admission in another university next year is because of my parents because they have always motivated me and supported me through my difficult time so everybody is not uh, you know blessed with all parents the parents will say if you were given a chance you lost it you just now you have to work you, you don't have any option but my parents despite of this encouraged me uh, to come to united states and study which is i would say it's because of them i'm here and all my relatives and friends and family who supported me so uh, the advice which i would like to give to student that uh, you know um, so there are pros and cons you know coming over here and studying so if you are there you stay with your family friends even if you're learning if you are earning less that's fine you know uh, i basically the reason for me for coming over here that i wanted to pursue my uh edu- you know my higher education that's was my duty my job getting a job over here or uh, it's it's a it's a responsibility you have to pay your loans that's it uh, that's another thing but for for me for uh, getting the higher education was my priority over here for for that i came over here so uh i would like to give an advice that just be confident you know pursue your dreams regardless of anything and one of the things that you know if you observe the successful people you know or which are out there in you know world you know uh, they have gone successful not because of themselves you know they had very good support system of their family and friends you know you can't do it alone you have to have that it's so fortunate i was fortunate to have all, the, all those things but i would say uh, if you uh, it's very challenging to come over here 
and you know to learn to interact with so many people to learn from them to you know to help them to take help you know you grow as an individual and as a you know uh, uh, i mean a student or a worker i mean an employee over here after coming over here and uh, way away from your home you know you are in a protected environment in the home when you come over here you are exposed directly to independence you know you have to do everything on your own you have to manage time while you are studying you have to manage on campus job and other things also so you learn a lot you know become a better person um and to be honest i have struggled throughout my you know course i was uh, i was you know for my first three semesters my gpa was under 3 which is a minimum requirement and in the past final semester i managed to do that so it was really an uphill task for me because uh, i struggled a lot you know my uh, friends and uh, used to do my assignments you know a lot of us and i have done uh, a lot of part in it but you know they because of them you know because of their help i have gone through here you know it was not an easy thing so uh, the one thing which, uh, which is there you know i uh, when i was in india i was you know attending marriages of all my friends and then when i came here i started you know uh, missing their marriages and so the thing is uh, you know i i lost this part, that part of life but if it's life you know you gain something you lose something you can't get, get all the things in life so i would say just be confident pursue your dreams regardless of anything which is there and uh, you know there are t- times will be there will be bogged down and you know but you have faith in yourself have that uh, flame of hope burning inside you which will keep you alive and which will you know help you in you in moving forward regardless of any situation